NBA basketball totals for Saturday, March 25th. This is a segment where we look at NBA totals and we go ahead and try to beat the odds makers either over or under the total. Currently, we are sitting at on the season in our NBA totals. We're at 189 and 167. So we got up a little bit of ground. We we're more at about 50% on our picks uh, closer to the all-star break. So we've had a, a, some pretty good luck over these past uh, over this past month. And it's great because, you know, you catch these picks on our NBA Live segment. That's usually where we do this. And that's Sunday through Thursday at 5 o'clock Eastern. you got to tune in and check that out. As I always mentioned, you know, make some time to, to come in. And uh, I always try to get back to pretty much anybody that comments in that uh, segment. So come on in and check that out. But. You know, the great thing about Sportsbook Review, again, is you can track back all my picks and you can see throughout the videos and you can exactly see, you know, what kind of record I'm looking at. And it's free, which is great. SBRPicks.com, more free handicappers, for, more free handicappers are there. Woo, can barely talk. Uh, Sportsbook Review, our main webpage. We got all the sports books there. Today we get our line from a U wager on this Toronto Dallas game. It's at 195. And uh, also, don't forget our uh, Facebook page and uh, YouTube channel and all that good stuff. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's break this game down. We got Toronto Dallas. Again, the line I'm getting is from our uh, what the sportsbook I'm going to use today is U Wager. Uh, sportsbook we're using for this uh, this week, really focusing on their lines. And right now, it's at 195. I'm going under this total. I'm going to go under this total. Now they just met just a couple, like a week or two back. Not quite. Well, not quite two weeks ago uh, in Toronto. And uh, the Raptors hammered them, 178. I kind of like Dallas to win this game, too, straight up. In that game, Dallas, although they didn't shoot the ball particularly well, um, and they didn't shoot, shoot the ball particularly well from three, I still like for this game to stay under that 195. Dallas will shoot better. So what I'm saying is they're going to shoot better, but it's still going to stay under the total. Toronto shot really well that game, 47% from the floor, 36% from distance. But what I like is the pace. Toronto got up 78 attempts. The Mavericks got up 85, and that's actually pretty quick for Dallas, a little too fast. So although it was 178, and Ozmakers went ahead and said, of course, it's got to be over 178. Ozmakers said at 195, which seems a nice round number. I think they stay under again, though. Toronto, uh, really good job defensively uh, against Miami, but I thought Miami kind of had an off-shooting night, but you got to give a little bit of credit to Toronto to, you know, making things a little bit difficult on Miami, and that's a, that Miami team is playing really well. So nice job by them. I think they bring that mindset into Dallas uh, tonight, and I think Dallas is going to step things up defensively as well. So I like under this 195. When we look at these teams statistically, you know, now that the game is in Dallas and not in Toronto, I look for this pace to be really slow. The Mavericks rank fourth in the league in uh, opponent field goals made per game. They're first in opponent field goals attempted per game, allowing opponents to get up just 78.5 attempts per game. Now, Toronto, unlike last year, much slower tempo, um, you know, and uh, much more, excuse me, not last year, not like the first half of the season this year. Uh, they've slowed things down just a little bit. You know, they were really picking up the pace prior to the All-Star break. But since then, they've focused a lot more on defense. Right now, they're averaging just 84.6 attempts per game. Average 20th in the league. They were much, much quicker the first half of the season. But now that Lowry's out, it seems like they've circled the wagons just a little bit. But more impressively is they're allowing just 89, excuse me, 82.9 attempts per game. They're like six. This is not going to be a fast game at all. I really like the tempo to be slow. Dallas, good defensive numbers as far as the points they allowed. Statistically, not that great. Toronto, pretty good across the board. I think it stays under that 195. And that's it. That's my only pick today in the NBA. I also like Dallas uh, to go ahead and get things done. Um on the point spread. They're minus one right now. Let me go ahead and take a look here at the spreads here real fast, kind of treated like a live segment. Uh, as I, I'll go ahead and break these down for you real quick. There's only three games I have out right now as odds makers still are uh, thinking about some things. Again, the lines I got from you wager right now, we got Utah at a plus four versus the Clippers. I kind of like Utah in that matchup. I think they can win that game. Los Angeles coming back uh, from a road trip. Clippers are so touch and go sometimes. Great matchup there. Again, I like uh, Dallas minus the point. Uh, it's minus one at U-Wager. And then we got Minnesota-Portland right now. This is going to be a really interesting matchup. I kind of like the over in that one. So see what that line moves. Right now, Minnesota's a plus six because they're coming off the back-to-back -back, uh, traveling from Los Angeles. So I'm see where that line moves. Uh, right now, uh, I don't really have an opinion on that. I do kind of like Utah, though, plus the points. And that's it. So let's go ahead and uh, break that down one more time for you. We got uh, Dallas and uh, Toronto under the 195. That's our one NBA pick today. Look for my NCAA segment that's out there as well. And I'll be back live for you guys Sunday, 5 o'clock Eastern. I wish you guys luck on your picks today.
We hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, don't miss out on the best basketball betting content available on YouTube. Click our logo button on the bottom left to subscribe. And as always, guys, give us a like and drop your comments below because we want to hear from you. Visit our website to take advantage of all our free products.